watching me. Someone's always there when I'm sleeping. Someone's always standing in the darkest corner of my, my room. He's tall and well. Um, guys, we are going. The heck? We're going ghost hunting. Going ghost hunting? What's that in your hand? Mm, whatever the thing. The MP? The MP? Whenever this um thing is in red, up right up here, in red, that means we're near a ghost. Okay. And we do have these really cool laser pointers that from the laser pointers. Because we do have these really cool laser pointers and, and look. There's a ghost by us. I just, found out there's I just found out there's three of them by us. One of them just turned off, grabbed the light and turned it back on. Over there, and then two in the cage. Mm -mm. Yeah. yeah. I don't believe you. There's two in the cage. Yes, there is. Come here. It's called the Matanzas. Mm -hmm. It's cool. Really cool place to visit, by the way, if you have a chance. There's nobody in the corner. There's they still passed and they were hit by a hurricane. They were hit by a hurricane, so hard that they were shipwrecked. They were shipwrecked and trapped aboard their ships. These men were bloody starving. Do you remember yeah. that spot where they were out and there was water and they were trying to suck the weed? So people died. He marched north. So the now undefended Fort Caroline. He marched north and killed nearly everyone in shot. So basically, he left the boat. I did not kill them because they were French. The fort is basically I killed them because they were Protestant. He then turned around and began to march south. When he reached the southern ships that had been shipwrecked, the men aboard them were finally regrouping and getting themselves together. He captured those men. Different kind of spirits, sir. <laughs> now, Pedro Menendez. Captured the men aboard their ships, locked them back aboard the ships that were shipwrecked. As he locked them aboard their ships, he took them ten by ten, bound them by their hands, and walked them away from the ships. When he walked them away from the ships, he walked them out of earshot, out of eyesight. He knelt these men down on oyster beds. Pedro Menendez knew these men had just survived an act of God, and therefore, God did not want them dead. He wanted them to convert. So, he would give them that opportunity. He knelt the men down in oyster beds. Oyster beds are like, if you were to take knives and cut up a bunch of raw chicken, then take those knives and glue them to rocks so that the pointy end was sticking straight up, and then kneel on that. Bloody salt water lapping into their wounds. He went to them one by one. You! Oh, when you convert to Catholicism, Martini, you will become a part of the city of St. Augustine. You will be baptized on the spot. You will become an upstanding citizen and one of our numbers. Or, will you die by my hand for your God? Death was their choice. And Pedro Menendez was more than happy to oblige. He slit each and every one, one by one, in the stomach, removing their intestines, hanging them from trees as a warning did not kill them because they were French. I killed them because they were Protestant. He went